Hello, hello everyone, and a very special welcome back to my subscribers. If this is your first time joining me on my YouTube channel, thank you uh, for following me along my journey with breast cancer. I will link um, my previous videos in the description here so you can check those out as well. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about my round two and round three um, side effects from my um, chemo infusions. And if you haven't subscribed real quick, uh, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on a notification so that you don't miss any of my uh, future videos. Um, as always, if you have any questions um, afterwards, please feel free to leave a comment or um, message me on social media. I will also link my Instagram and uh, blog um, website, chichomestyle.com, so that you can contact me, email me, or reach out uh, privately as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it and get started, and we're going to be talking about um, side effects and what's coming up um, in the next uh, couple of weeks. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanted to dive into and talk about really quickly um, as far as uh, side effects go is probably the most um, apparent <laughs> uh, thing is that I have not lost my hair. So one thing I talked about in the last uh, video that I did was uh, with the two drugs that I'm currently on, hair loss is not a major side effect. So for me, um, I am in the mid, well, towards the end I'm a, uh, of the third round and I'll be going in for my fourth round um, tomorrow. So I have not experienced any hair loss at all. One thing the pharmacist had explained to me was that, you know, you may experience scalp tenderness, um, like a change in texture, like dry, brittle um, hair, um, some shedding, some people have uh, more or less shedding, just depending on how you react to it. I know for me, I just, always assumed that a common you know side effect for all chemo was hair loss so i was really really uh you know thrown off by hearing that i i wouldn't lose my hair uh with this round so it's been nice not you know having to worry about that uh one less thing on my plate but so long as i'm on the current medication and it continues to work that won't be a side effect unless uh, we change medications in, in the future. But right now, it's it's not something that I'm having to worry about. What I have been doing is uh, continuing to stay on top of things uh, with my hairstylist. So we've been doing um, protein treatments to keep my hair strong. And we've been doing hydration treatments as well um, to keep my hair hydrated so it doesn't dry out too much. But so far... The only thing I've experienced is, is a slight tenderness in my scalp, which after my last um, hair appointment with my hairstylist, my scalp was definitely more tender. And then afterwards, I think just from doing the blowout and everything, it made it more tender. So, but other than that, I, I have not had any shedding or breakage or anything else major. So that's, that's been nice. Um, we talked about in the last video, uh, my second round where I had the new Lasta shot. So I wanted to give you guys an update on how that went because I was really nervous and really anxious about, um, bone pain as a possible side effect. Um, most commonly with um, the new Lasta shot. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, um, the new Lasta shot actually is an injection that is done one of two ways. And what it does is it increases your 
white blood cells. So after, for, for me, with the current treatment plan that I'm on, after my second um, infusion every 21 days, I get the new Lasta um, injection. And I'll go over my, my treatment um, cycle to kind of explain how it works in a minute. Uh, but after my second uh, treatment, uh, we did the new Lasta injection and there's two ways. So the first way is just by standard syringe injection, which you would go back the day after your infusion and have that administered. Um, so some people do it that way. Some people, they can administer it at home on their own, which your nurse will you know, show you how to do um, the injection. So it's a little bit different and it depends on what your insurance will cover. Um, my insurance actually covered the new Lasta on Pro Injector, which is, um, I think, I think it's fairly new. Um, it is a little, kind of, it kind of looks like a little dental floss uh, dispenser is the best way to describe it. It's, it's pretty small. It looks like a little box and it attaches um, either to your stomach or your, or uh, your arm. So mine was placed on my stomach and my abdomen area and after my infusion was complete my oncology nurse um, uh, set it up for me so what it is or the way it works is they will place it on your body and there's this tiny little thin little catheter that's inside that after it's placed on your body you have about three minutes where it'll beep, you know, for a little bit, it letting you know that it is um, about to uh, engage. And at that point, the catheter kind of, kind of feels like a little rubber band snap where it engages and it inserts into your stomach. And then the medicine is administered 27 hours after your um, infusion. So it just stays in place on your body. You don't, I didn't really feel it. It wasn't uncomfortable or anything, you know, to sleep with or, or whatever. Um, and then when the um, medication is administered, you don't, you don't feel anything. You kind of hear like noises from it or whatever, but it, it, you don't feel it, it doesn't um, hurt or anything. And then after that, you can take it off of your body. I'll try to post a picture of what it looks like so you guys can see it. And I might do a little video during my next um, infusion so you guys can see the process of how it is, it is placed on your body and that sort of thing. So after that, on week two, I didn't, I, I took Claritin, which I was instructed to take, which helps alleviate uh, the bone pain. I only experienced bone pain, I, I think twice um, that week. And the Claritin helped, I think, uh, a great deal. I only had to take pain medication for those two, for those um, two times actually, for those two days. And and it it was just over the counter like Tylenol. It I didn't need anything major or anything stronger for that, and it was fine. And after my white blood cells increased, I had so much more energy, which was great. Um, I had about five total days of feeling like completely like myself again. So we ran errands we had date nights my husband and I we got out of the house we did a few things which was really really nice because you know as you know a lot of what I'm experiencing side effects wise was fatigue um, diarrhea a little bit of uh, constipation but week two and week three were pretty much more of the same um, as week one with those exact same symptoms again adding in the the bone pain but that was that was pretty much it for me it wasn't anything else major and hasn't been anything major I'm towards the uh end of round three same thing um this time though the fatigue wasn't as 
intense. I, I did, you know, still have really low energy and I, I think I slept a lot because, you know, you really, you can't really do anything else. You don't really have, um, the energy to do anything else, but the fatigue wasn't as bad. I think the first and uh, first round of chemo, it was, it was tough. I was barely able to get out of bed on my own, barely able to lift my own body weight. It was really, really tough. But this uh, third week, it's been okay. Um, and I've been able to, you know, get up, get around, do things on my own. I'm just really, really tired. So I've been sleeping a lot. But other than that, that's that's been it. Um, one thing I did uh, want to talk about is how I've been trying more and more to listen to my body and not push myself. If I feel tired, I allow myself to go to sleep. I allow myself to take a nap. If I can't sleep at night or vice versa, then I'll do something else, you know, but it's, it's so important to, I'm learning that it's so important to listen to your body and just go with it. Don't fight it and just allow yourself the time to recover and heal and, and give yourself that, that moment. Because when you, when you don't, I think it tires you out more. And then in preparation for your next you know, treatment or infusion, you're already burned out before you even get get a point to start being able to recover. So that's helped me um, a lot. Um, and then <clears throat> coming up tomorrow, I have my fourth um, infusion and we'll see how that goes. So my current cycle is 21 days. So how that works is I have infusions on day one and day eight and then I have a week off and then the cycle starts again so it was really nice having the the week off because it kind of lined up right with um, my white blood cell uh, count uh, increasing and then having that time off where I had energy so I could I could do certain things so um, it was perfect in that aspect. So I'm hoping that this time around will be the same thing. This is technically my fourth chemo treatment, but technically my second cycle, if that makes sense, my second 21 day cycle. So hopefully after this round, it'll be the same with having a little bit more energy after um, my white blood cells increase and us being able to do a little bit more, especially coming up uh, to Thanksgiving. We're excited uh, that we've gotten the all clear to head home to see family um, for the holidays. This will be our first trip home um, in, let's see, over 10 years actually for a major holiday. We were both in retail previously, so it was very tough for us to plan trips and, and holiday um, festivities with family uh, being out of state um, and us or I should say us living in a different state um, but we're really excited to head home uh, for Thanksgiving um, soon so that'll be nice uh, to see family and friends but that's pretty much it for for this update guys um, like I said pretty much more of the same of what it was for the first uh, round so it's, it's overall been very manageable with the um, side effects that I have had thus far. Um, again, I am on gemcitabine and carboplatin. We will be adding um, immunotherapy uh, for my next uh, cycle. So um, I'll update you guys on that um, as soon as I am uh, able to test that out and see how it goes with adding the immunotherapy. I think we're adding Keytruda, um, which is a, a more recently approved um, FDA um, uh, drug for triple negative uh, breast cancer. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions uh, for me, let me know. I would be happy to try my best to answer. I also would love to know what you guys are interested in seeing. I 
am uh, planning to do uh, a uh, what's in my bag for chemo um, or chemo essentials, I should say, um, which I've gotten a lot of requests for. So I will be doing that um, probably in the next couple of weeks to share with you guys what I take um, along with me and just general um, things that have helped me. Uh, these past few weeks that I think are um, essentials to to what you should have for your chemo treatments. Um, and then, you know, we, we thought about maybe doing a video um, during my infusion so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it's like. I know that some of you follow me on Instagram, so I do post stories behind the scenes sometimes um, when I'm doing my infusions. But if that's something you would like to see, let me know. We... Um, Infusion days are actually really easy days for me. Um, they, I have steroids, so I have energy. I'm not in any pain, so that's great. Um, so if that's something you would like to see, I'd love to share that with you. My husband and I have become very popular in our infusion center because we play um, Nintendo Switch. We, we get very competitive with Mario Party, so... Um, that's something that everyone thinks is really cool. I'm happy to talk to you guys about that, especially if you have a private suite. If you don't, Nintendo Switch, you, it's handheld, so you can play it uh, with someone else um, just holding it. Uh, my husband actually hooks ours up to the TV um, and with an HDMI uh, cable, so it works really, really well for us, and we play it for hours until I'm done. So it, it gives us, it passes the time, it gives us something to do together. We call it our chemo dates. So that's been really fun. Um, if you have any other suggestions or uh, things that you would like to see or like to know, let me know in the comments. I'd love to get an idea of a future um, uh, content uh, to share with you guys uh, as far as videos go. And, and that sort of thing. So I love, I'd love your help on that. But uh, otherwise, stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be doing a new uh, post update on my blog, chichomestyle.com, uh, for chemo um, treatment essentials. So be sure to subscribe to the blog. I'll be doing a little bit on the blog and via YouTube video. So that way you guys get a little bit of, of everything and don't miss out on anything but thank you again for tuning in and i look forward to updating you guys the next time thank you